My new friend Trey's here. What's up, buddy? How are you? Good, dude. Good, man. And then we got his son Tyler back there playing Grand Theft Auto. They're just swacking civilians in together. That's a good bonding activity for young men to steal cars, pick up hookers, <laughs> swack, swack people on the side of the road. It just happens. So he wanted, he just met Batty, and Batty, of course, is all about gaming, and he wanted something gaming related for Batty to sign. And so we came to Miss Kim over here and was like, hey, no, don't look at could, you do, could you do, could you do Killa? So Kim is doing a Killa right now, because that's Batty's game, Tarkov, of course. And we're gonna sign it, and that's gonna be our friend Trace. Kim, no, the Killa is amazing. No, <laughs> that's a good, good Killa. No, that's a good no, Killa. Kim did an amazing job. Well, an amazing job with the killer <laughs> here. So Batty and I both signed it. It's for a little fish over there, Mr. Mr. Tyler, who was peeking. <laughs> John is racist. <laughs> Against gingers. Batty's like, am I not entertaining? John says, no, you're too orange. Oh my God, this guy showed up with AKs, of course. You <laughs> can go pop this off the backyard, right? Yeah, the neighbors won't mind it all. The HO HOA is Perfect. fine with things like that happening. Awesome. Look at what Batty brought out. Batty brought his pretty little Glock, and then I got my pretty little Glock, and watch, I'm gonna touch, touch tips right now. <laughs> Batty brought all those guns out, of course. That's the, uh, the, 4570? Yeah, Marlin 4570 Dark Space Cowboy. Oh, like I gotta have to hunt a Dude, fucking T-Rex. <laughs> that is beautiful. Holy crap. I definitely need to get one of those. <laughs> that's, that's... Oh, but what's this guy right here? Baddie. You bad he bitch here. Bad. Look at this guy. No, that's fine. Still... What, you, what you got there, Brandon? You never know when you have to have a quick draw <laughs> white claw. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> we brought Jeeves up here to Frank's. We're having a little boys day out here. Steve's over there grilling some stuff up. There goes John. He's probably gonna jump off the platform. Jeeves, come on. See how Jeeves does in the water if we can get him in here. Got my Crocs on, boy. Come on, Jeeves. Jeeves, come here. Come here. Come here, Jeeves. Come on. Jeeves, come here, baby. Oh, no. He doesn't want to get in the water. It's a saltwater pool, so he can't drink too much of it. Hey, come on. Come on, Jeeves. Jeeves, come on, baby. Oh, he used to love water. I wonder why he's being sketchy. Huh. I've already shown you guys the bulletproof koozies that Premier has, and I figured out you can combine them with a dog vest to make your dog bulletproof. Look at him, Premier Body Armor Bulletproof Cheese. <laughs> Steve, what up? What do you got, man? Some grip. Hell yeah, burger. And you made me homemade chimichurri. Made you homemade chimichurri. Oh my god, Steve is the best. Push your butt, push your butt, push your butt, push your butt. This is Hi everyone, Bro Nut here. Baddie's here right now. He called me on the way down from Vermont and said, hey man, I've got a huge Tarkov tournament. Tournament. It's the biggest tournament ever. Uh, Pe Pestilli put it on, Pestilli, however you want to call it. He's like, hey, I need to use your computer. I completely forgot I'm on this tournament on Sunday. So Baddie's upstairs playing one of the biggest Tarkov tournaments ever. I'm down here making some Brecky P for Baddie, which of course is like breakfast pizza, Brecky P. You got the hash browns, and then you got the sausage gravy, Nana's recipe, and then you got cheese on top, and then you crack some eggs on top of that, throw in the oven until the eggs are still soft but cooked. Mm. Ooh, got that brekkie pea going. You got some MSG, some pepper, some smoked paprika, some dehydrated onions, some uh, smoked salt on the hash browns that I just made and then squeezed out using a, a terry cloth, is that what you call it? I don't know. Got our gravy right here. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Ooh, break the peas almost ready, boys. I made this in a minute. We made it on stream one time. All right, now for the sauce. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. And the cheese, fresh grated sharp cheddar. Oh my gosh, look at this brekkie pea. We got some eggs on there. I'm gonna pop it in the oven until the whites cook. Leave the yellow running as it should be. Now and then we're gonna have brekkie pea. Yes! Ooh, we all know about that brekkie pea life right there. Look at that. Heck yeah. I might have overcooked the eggs a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be good nonetheless. They're not runny, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. It's okay. They're gonna be good. Hey, Batty, how's your Tarkov tournament going? I don't wanna talk about it. I'm dying a lot. <laughs> it hurts everywhere, but I have food, so it's pretty okay. All right, buddy. I gotcha. Hi, Jeeves. Hi. We gave Jeeves a CBD treat, and he's pretty relaxed right now. <laughs> Hey, buddy, we love you. Hi. Let's see how John watches these Minecraft videos. 
I can't stand their voices and their giggles. I'm making steaks and Montreal steak seasoning on these two. And then these two, I use this stuff that Val got me a while back. I've never used it before. Butter pot chartrain. I don't know what that means, but it smells like butter and that's pretty cool. Perfect for fish, scallops, and steaks. It's from Dan and Bucks. It smells amazing. Maybe it'll give it a good buttery taste. Oh look, the first ingredient's butter. How do you turn butter into a powder? Cue X-Files music, smells good. You guys know I'm a condiment fiend, and two new things I ordered from the recommendation of Instagram, and then I saw this on someone's YouTube channel. I can't exactly remember who it is. The original Japanese barbecue sauce is called Bachans, and then, or Bachans, I don't know. Uh, Arizona and Arizona Gunslinger Jalapeno Pepper Sauce. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do the Arizona Gunslinger Jalapeno Pepper Sauce first. Homeless man tries sauces. Ooh, that's tasty. It's really vinegary. All natural ingredients. Red ripened jalapeno peppers, vinegar, and salt. That's pretty simple. That's good. I like that a lot. It's not too spicy. Oh, let me throw the steaks on real quick. We just smoked them in the Traeger. Now it's time to sear them. Try this guy real quick. First thoughts, it's really watery and it smells just like hoisin sauce. Let's try it. Just watery hoisin? That's really good. It tastes just like hoisin but with a twang to it. Not like a spicy twang. That's good stuff, man. I highly recommend this stuff. Bachans. But it tastes like really, really good, cheap uh, Chinese food that you would eat after getting hammered. How's that welling over there, bud? How's that steak over there, bud? Oh my gosh, you have to be able to cut a steak. That's true, Jeeves. Don't even look at John's steak like that. I love reverse searing on a Traeger because it gets that, that, that smoke, I almost said smelly smell, that smoky smell. And then I sear it in the pan like you guys just saw, and it comes out perfect every single time. And I think I got it down to a pretty good science now where I can recreate this whenever I want to. I am not a fan of the butter pont chartrain stuff. Not not one bit, but I'm gonna finish the steak because I paid $8 for it. Batty! Batty just got back to the house. What'd you get, bud? Well, this is a Chris Vector. Nice. <laughs> it's a pistol. Yeah. <laughs> Nine mil. It's a, gonna have a suppressor soon too. Nice, man. She's cute. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man, these magazines are. Pretty beefy. Look at these big sticks right here. They're actually Glock magazines with the uh, Chris extender on there. Look what else they fit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, boom, 40 round pistol mag, boy. I feel like a rapper. Always, always go inverted. <laughs> always go inverted. Oh my God, look at this. Look at these beauties. What is that? A beautiful Hellcat and a beautiful Raptor. My babies. <laughs> John. What are you doing? Being bored. <laughs> Being bored. I'm sorry, man. You didn't bring your Kindle or a book or anything. No, I'm not gonna bring my Kindle. Hey, look, look. Drink beer with me, and you'll, you know, you won't be bored. You'll have a good time. I can't though. Why? Because. Come on, it's, man. It's be a DJ with me. Do you want to vlog? Do you want to take the camera and vlog? Sure. People, people used to love. You haven't done it in a while, but people used to love you just taking my camera and going and vlogging. I'm definitely taking pictures. I want to see a John vlog. I know that. Can okay. you give us a John vlog? Can you? I, I'm not John, so I can't give us a John vlog. That's that's all you. Your new name's John. I can't. No. I'm Cody. No. You're John. Yep. No. I own you I, now. I named you I, John. I own you now. You can't own all me. All right, you're gonna have to do my you, chores you, you, you for the next me, ten but days. You don't own me. I own you. Excuse me. You know, I that's, own. That's kind of racist. <laughs> <laughs> you're just pointing it at me, and it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> Dude, that's probably really gross looking in 4K, <laughs> seeing every pore in my face. <laughs> that's the whole point, right guys? Oh god. To see every pore in my face? That's Yeah, that's definitely what we're trying to do right now. Yeah, yeah. But you wanted me to be a degen earlier. I was joking with you. Sure, says the one who says. You know, says. it's gonna be here, CNN headlines, ex-cop forces son to consume alcohol in vlog. Homeless man forced his kid to drink alcohol in vlog. Is. Homeless man arrested after forcing child to consume. No, don't even touch that. Where's the lamb sauce? Donkey. Where's the lamb sauce, John? 
I don't know, where is the lamb sauce? I don't know, you got the shaky cam down though, that's good. What do you mean? <laughs> oh wow, look at that truck. Wow, interesting, yeah. Nice truck, dude. What do you think about that truck, Dad? It's so right now, it's so right now. We're at our more artist, he's drinking beer. We're waiting for chocolate. Yeah, it's just a nice old vlog. Taking them forever. We're already gonna have to go home and make a whole video about angry cops beating up a crazy dude. So, guys, we're here right now in the front of the moor right now. Um, we're waiting, well, I am at the front of the moor, but we're waiting for chocolate right now. He should be here anytime soon. It's a nice day out. Let's see, it's pretty sunny. No clouds whatsoever. So you can see there's no cloud. Beautiful day today. Get all the cars and stuff. Yeah. It's a nice day today. Get the Jeep truck. Jeep truck. <laughs> there should only be Jeeps and trucks, not Jeep trucks. Watching people drive by. Have a good day. It's really hot out. It's like 98 now. So yeah, chocolate should be here any minute now. Just thinking. Thinking about why. Hope you guys are having a good day if you're watching this. Pretty nice today. Sunny out, no clouds in the sky that we can see. Pretty nice day. I think I just saw chocolate. Better be him. Or else, or else, or else. Yeah. It's a. Uh... It's a uh, pretty nice show. Sorry guys if the sun is in your eyes. I'm like right in front of the suns. Yeah, hope you guys are having a. Fantastic day. So yeah, it's a good day today. What do you guys think? Um, so hope you guys are having a good day. If you've ever been to Fort Mill, tell me down in the comments below and say how you liked it. Say if you've been to the skate shop before. Stuff you know, yeah. Guys, guys, all right, all right. We're back with me again. How was John's vlog? I haven't looked at it yet. Let's see it. You're gonna have to edit it. I'm gonna have to edit it. A little bit. And I'm gonna edit it good. I'm gonna put fire and special effects and explosions into it. If you had to rate your part of the vlog uh, one to ten, what would you rate it? A nine. A I nine. I got my face a little close up, like right yeah? here. Yeah. So. Did you show all of your pores off as well? A little. Just a little bit. Like maybe a little bit in my mouth. John, if you could go anywhere in the country, where would Texas. it be? Texas. San Antonio, Texas, with Uncle Matt Best and Uncle Eli Double Tap. Yeah. What duh. would you do? Hang in out Texas with, with them. them. What do you think? You silly Billy. You're silly Billy. Oh, oh, your drink. No, 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 that's like an $8 beer because we're at a Here, small some... batch brewery. Did I ever tell you the story about um, the guy that drank a bunch of gasoline and threw up on a fire? There was a biker and it was on this old show called A Thousand Ways to Die. And he was like out camping by himself and he heard that there was alcohol in gasoline. Is that true? Yes, but it's a different kind of alcohol. You can't drink and get drunk, but he drank a bunch of it and guess what? It made him sick. So he threw up on his fire, and it burned him up. True story. I bet he looked, like, I bet he blew it all up and like, Then he blew up. up. Did, did they release that or anything? No, there's not, like, footage of it. Lord have mercy. Is that Ollie? Oh no, it's back. 